Hello and welcome back to Skyrim with yours truly Lord of the Senior the Mad. Hi Lord the Flurses, Harbinger of the Spiffening, 1121 Boxes Madman, Master Force Sanity and all around a neutral guy. There's something fighting me over there. That is not at the... oh, yeah. Oh, so new map mod. Looks cool. Gives me a idea. An idea even. Of where all the roads are. Look at all them roads. Roads. So many roads. I also... Put some stuff into Dudrin's inventory again. Smut down the ebony. That's a smart idea. It's crazy to still be working here. What if there's more Draugr down there? Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Good to see you again, friend. Ah, oh, you got to be a friend. Anyway, my plan is to go to Source Time and sell all my excess loot to that one guy on Source Time. You know his name. Oh god. Not that song. Yeah, source time and the dragon. This was totally expected. I was sure I could not just skip back to tell me a friend. No, I'll have to fight the dragon. I'll see you burn. Well, I'll try to pull the dragon out of the city. Worked. The dragon is focusing on me. Yes, come closer, come closer. Also, if you fucking dragon, dragon, if you fly away again before I kill you, I'll be very mad at you. Ah, something has damaged it. I suppose I have assistance. In the example of this one brave veteran guard. Delvin over there somewhere. Oh hey, he landed. He also looks very blurry as if he has a long... You know, that mesh using... That is not supposed to be visible from this distance. It's also sp oh yeah. Now it made its appearance proper. I think it might have its meshes switched around or something. Uh. All right then. I've got a new soul, I've got some more scales that should help me with making Delrin some new armor. Which is nice. Yay, dragon soul. Also, next time I get into a battle. Motherfucking cyclone, bitches. I have no idea how it behaves, but I'm going to try that. Oh, source times map looks. So much blander than the other one. No, no, tell me, friend. Oh, hey! Ashborn! Everywhere battle. Everywhere I go. Probably when we return to Skyrim, we will be attacked by hired guards. Because there's no way we can go without battle. Unless there should be three files, right? Yes, there are. Eh. No jewelry there. Okay, let's head on in. Sell some stuff. Talk about the Briar Hearts. Yeah, float up. 
I said float up. Children, don't push me down. Thank you. As uh, some of you might remember, I've had a problem with NPCs. The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. I examined the Briarheart Warrior. Oh, have you? Well, let me just extract those memories and I'll see if you found anything useful. I promise that any unrelated memories I run across will be kept in the strictest of confidences. Here, you deserve a bit of a reward. For your efforts, that was a lengthy trip for you, I'm sure. Who's on the way? There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. Someone is attacking you? Yes, I have enemies. Legions of them back in Morrowind. However, in this case, I have reason to believe it is someone in Solstheim. I suppose you want me to kill them? Not yet. That may come later. But first I need to identify the culprit. I've enchanted this ring to find the source of the attacks. Here, take it. How does the ring work? Just wear it. It will light up the source when you get close to it. I enchanted the ring with a bit of ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summoner. How close do I have to be? The link is weak, so you'll have to be within about a hundred feet of the source. Ah, this is going to be fun. All right, can you train me in enchanting? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I can. The question is, should I? I suppose if it's going to be done right, I'll have to do it. Good. That takes me to 90. Try walking around the grounds with the ring on. Yes, yes, put the ring on. Get out of the way, you suck stuff. And where is the ring? Where is the ring? Ring, 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 ring. Where the fuck are you, ring? Here. Oh. Good day, friend. Keeping. Yeah. Sure. Keeping well. Right. So now I have to go and find the source of the attacks. This is most likely not going to be easy. My suspicion is that the attacks might originate from Ashfellow Citadel. Wait, no, that's not the one. A uh, high point tower. Yeah, high point tower was the one. Yeah. That's a fair distance off. So it might not be accurate information. Let's walk here first. But if I remember correctly, this was where the Morak Trong was. So it's probably not the place I'm looking for. Because the Ashbourne stuff was going on before that. Who are you? Over here! Oh. That was weird. Why is the game acting like this? Okay, it's acting... No, still acting up. Odd. But largely irrelevant. As long as the game runs smoothly after this. Which I hope it will. I'm going to be skipping all that lock picking nonsense from now on. You have seen that enough. It took me 132 episodes to reach that as an actual policy for my videos. But then now it has been very much a matter of whether or not I could be bothered 
to edit it out or if I had anything to say while I was recording. I thought I saw this, yes. I'm honestly kind of surprised that this game doesn't have any collector achievements. It's probably due to the fact that it's so easy to just cheat items in. Save again. Hmm. I might have gone past the fort I was meaning to check out. No, it's over there. Southwards. Oh, a geode. I think I already fought the spiders here. Let's go check this camp first. I know I've been here already and I've cleared it out once. What enemies might have respawned? They might have something good for me. I wish this lockpicking was as easy as the hacking in Bioshock. It's not as shameful as that might be. Very well, there's an enemy. I cannot hit the door. Luckily, I have Dendron with me. So it's okay. Hello, Spriggan. Yeah! Who burnt you, you? Oh, right. Red Mountain burnt her. Oh well. You can still see the ashes bursting from the smoky hills of the volcano. Yes, yes. Okay, my suspicion was this place, right? What? does the game say about my suspicion? Does it confirm it? Is this the place? It seems like a no. Though the place does have a spawn. So it would almost make sense for this to be the right place, right? Yet we have... Little to no proof of this being the case. Plus, it's still buried in ashes. But if it wasn't here, do we have a quest marker? Do a quest marker either? Do we have an inkling? Around, tell me, friend. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to be this far away from the Mifren. Mifren is over there. Change direction to over there. How far is the southern? How oh, a long way off. That's so far. All right, let's keep searching. I know things, hidden things, things you aren't supposed to know. Do you now? Uh, slow down there. What are you going on about? You don't believe me. No one does. They don't want to. I don't want to either. But I can't help it. <laughs> They're in my head. What's in your head? Secret hidden things. Ooh, secrets. What kind of secrets? Uh, the secret kind! Oh, the secret kind, you say? And alright then, where did you learn the secrets? The black book. It shoved them in there with black, slick fingers. My fingers are too short. I can't get them out! Where did you find this black book? Oh no, I didn't find it. It found me! Here, I'll show you. See? Right there! But don't go there! You don't want these things in your head! You don't! You don't! They're in my head! Yeah. your best! Yeah. Well... That madman just disintegrated. 
into the soil. Was he even there at all ever? Maybe it was just... Just a dream. Just a hallucination that Deldrin and Ariel shared on the basis of them both having had seen black books. Also there is no black book in Deldrin Mifrin, I am quite sure the book is already in my possession. Oh well. At least he tried to help. Ah, hello, Spriggan. Oh, there's another bunch spring. These actually hurt a lot. This is the first one, and this is doing that whole. Oh, hey, I have Mogul stocks around. And don't let those fight at each other. That's one dead dog. I really exp. Oh, 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 oh. I really kind of expected the whole dog business to be more threatening than this. This is actually kind of pathetic. They don't even have proper loot. So this will be just a minor inconvenience. I was hoping it, there might be loot. Hmm. Alright, then I'm supposed to wander the Telmefren grounds to find and identify the location, the source of the Ashborn attacks. Where did this dragon come from? Have I ever killed a dragon here? No idea. Okay, let's explore down here then. I thought this was a bucket for a second. That is not a bucket. Also, why is there a floating statue? Because of the things the game decides to load in later. That makes sense. Okay, let's head back to the Mifren. I have a new suspicion. You see, I suspect that the threat might hide right under the Mifren. I can swim in Netch. I didn't know Netch could swim. Ah! Did you see that? There was a shiningness here. I think I have located the threat. Which is pretty nice. If I could say so myself. Huh. Activate sacrifice. It's an old human skull here. I think they call it Bob. There's a skeleton in this one. I don't even have to open the sacrifice to get to it. I think it's more spiffier if I open it first. I'll close this one. And this one. Take the heartstone and the stuff of gold. 
Close all the sacrificai. Or the sacrificus this. Okay, channel, what do we have here? Dari Sarofil's grave is what it bring, brought me to, eh? How, where did I know the last name from? Was anyone else named? Maybe everyone else who died here were anonymous. Oh, I guess that's one way to go around about business. And quite an interesting way at that, I think. Ah. I want to investigate things, namely this sort of things. This one is maxed out. Huh. I'm not even sure what I want to have on this. Where do the enchantments that I use actually fall upon this wall of enchanting perks? Can they even be found there? I do not know. But for now, let's go here. Go up. I gotta go before the ruin. Or not. Am I pushed down? Nope. Luckily. Let's quick save and as you can see. Say, how would you like to advance the art of magic? Ah, do you need help with your research? I suppose that depends. Are you willing to be an experimental subject? What kind of experiment do you want to do on me? Oh, nothing too dangerous. It should provide an additional spectral tether from your own life spark to the Adric realm. You would experience it as a sort of increased vigor. You would fight longer, feel stronger, that sort of thing. At least I think it will, probably, almost certainly. Of course, you never can tell. Oh, I'd be glad to help. Now stand still. It's my first time casting this spell, and I don't need any additional distractions. You won't feel a thing. But if you do, try not to scream too loudly. My ears are sensitive. <laughs> oh god, I love this guy's attitude. Off you go. If you discover any side effects, come back and tell me straight away. Okay, let's check. What do we have here? Oh, you don't need to use the drink anymore. Where is it? I didn't see the effect. Do you need all your toes? I could really use a fresh toe for... Uh, never mind. You aren't moldy enough. <laughs> they, this heartstone is the source of the attacks. Hmm, I've known for decades that heartstones will animate the ash. But it would have to be very close by. Where exactly did you find this heartstone? It was in Ildari Sarofel's grave. Ildari? Then it was my own fault. She was my apprentice before Talus. She volunteered for one of my experiments involving heartstones. It was quite annoying when she died. There wasn't the body in the grave, just the heartstone. What? That's impossible. Wait, unless she didn't actually die. The heart stone could have kept her right at the edge of life and death. Could it be? Could Ildari still be alive? Could she be my nemesis? Wait a moment while I cast a more specific divination. Okay, I can put my ring on now because he took his. I call upon the powers of the sun. Moons and stars, Ildari Sarothril, reveal yourself. It's nice to see a friendly face around here. 
Everyone else can be so grumpy. Oh, those poor Spriggans. Ever since you healed the tower, Master Nelloth has been experimenting. Point tower. So, Ildari does live, after all. She thought she could hide from me, but she can't. She's holed up in High Point Tower. Go rip that thrice cursed heart of stone from her chest. Is there a bounty on her then? Why is it always about money? Yes, yes, I'll find something around here to pay you with. Now go. Be sure to bring back an amusing story of how Dory died. Hmm. When did the door get locked again? Anyway, it's time to hunt Ildari in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.